the Fun Earth movie, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Everyone, today's the day. Today's the motherfucking day. The shits, they actually stayed true to their promise this time around. Unlike last time, yes. The movie's gonna come out soon now. Now that I know that they're they're actually filming the shit now. About damn time. Blumhouse, about time. Jesus Christ. Oh, they finally start they finally start filming this fucking movie. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they just uh, they they weren't gonna fool me again at the last time where they said they was gonna start filming the movie. But this time they actually finally started filming the shit. Ooh, this movie, this movie better be, this movie better be good, man. This movie, this movie better be fucking good. But yeah, um, can I, do you mind if I get a moment real quick, guys? Alright, all right, guys, I'm sorry. So, um, the format, the, 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 the FNAF movie finally started filming, and, um, let's just get right to this, man. Video game movies have been peaked. I'm not even feeling a lot of you. Hell, this Mario movie, uh, the Sonic movie, uh, then there's a Pac-Man movie coming, Detective Pikachu, Mortal Kombat. Video game movies have been great lately. Five Nights at Freddy's. And I have a feeling that this, I, I know for a fact that the FNAF movie is going to be one of the better, better video game movies. Oh, uh, yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's fans, look at where we are. This movie is no longer a collective illusion that we have made up in our minds. They have finally begun filming the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Think about not only where you were, but how old you were when they first announced they were even going to make this movie. All the delays, the cancellations, exactly. the changes of studios, scripts exactly. that got thrown, then they changed their minds, went back to the drawing board. Exactly. The hired another, then we're here. They have started rolling those cameras. Hey. <laughs> Look how far we came. this glorious occasion, Jason Blum, the head of Blumhouse Studios, finally gave us our first look to what they were filming day one of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It's not that much to gander at, but if us Five Nights I can't wait to react to the trailer. <laughs> I can't wait to react to the trailer of this movie, man. Because I started reacting to the trailers of the Mario movie, and I was getting mind blown of how they were handling it. I can't wait to do the same for this FNAF movie. Interesting clues from this first photo. So what I'm going to do here for you guys is not only breaking down this. I can't wait to see Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy. I can't wait to see them again, man. And I mean the OG FNAF characters, not this new shit we begin. We we be getting lately with security bridge and all that shit. I mean the OG shit. I can't wait to see that again. That's when I fell in love with FNAF. Uh, FNAF one, FNAF two, FNAF three. Really, the OG games were like really the only FNAF games that I loved. Particularly the first three games. I didn't really care for FNAF four. Uh, Sister's Location. I liked, but I didn't really enjoy it like that. Really, the only OG games I, I enjoyed were the first three. FNAF 1, FNAF 2, and FNAF 3. That's when the shit was actually interesting. You know? That gets you excited. That gets you wondering. I think the thing I most want to hear from the more hardcore FNAF fans is how they're making certain story changes to the first movie where they're bringing elements from some of the later games, specifically like the Vanessa character, and how they can... I have a feeling this might be like the Mario movie where they just take... A lot of references and a lot of things from the games and all stack it into this one movie. That that's kind of what they doing with the Mario movie, and that's kind of what they did with Sonic too. Like take some things from different games and shows, put it in the one movie. I have a feeling they might do that here, and they might even do that with the Pac Man movie. Like take some things from different elements of the show around the whole franchise and then put it in this one movie. Because what I'm over here thinking is that they might adapt one, like, game. Like, one game. And that is, like, the OG game in the movie. Because that's what they did with Sonic 1. Like, adapt Sonic 1 into Sonic the Hedgehog movie 1. 
And that's why I'm over here thinking that the Mario movie is gonna do adapt the OG game into the into the Mario movie. But now instead, it's bringing in Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, all that shit. And now this FNAF movie is bringing shit from Security Breach. Security Breach. Like Vanessa, all that shit. And now, I'm, I'm even hearing that Springtrap might be in this movie. Yes, fucking Springtrap. Motherfucking Springtrap might be in this movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, video game movies. Mwah. Say goodbye to the MCU. Say goodbye to uh, DC. Hell, the only the, the only franchise I see popping up right now, after, besides video game movies, is the MonsterVerse. Subscribe to my Godzilla account. Link in the description. <laughs> that into the very first FNAF movie. All right, so yes, earlier today, a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's fans knew that they were starting filming on the movie because some of the cast members attached posted some photos on their social media. One is of Cat Connor Sterling, who's going to be playing the character of Max. We'll go into detail on who that is in a second. Also, another cast member that posted a picture of a little Freddy Fazbear pancake. Oh, I would munch that up in a second. But the thing that really sealed the deal is Jason Blum himself dropping the photo saying, Day one. We finally got our cast, man. Now, while I bring up this photo, and before I analyze it, let me go ahead and bring up the official plot synopsis that they have for this movie. They have as riddled with guilt over a tragedy in his past. Oh, that's the plot? To take care of his younger sister, Abby, on his own. Mike is low on options. When he lands a new job to pay the bills, the night security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, while spending his first night on the job, he realizes the gig won't be so easy as the animatronic animals that entertain kids during the day play their own sinister game at night. And looking at the photo... Hey, that's a perfect premise for a FNAF movie. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I love the movie, which they have as Bad Cupcake. Now, many of you guys who watch my channel and see me do these first looks know that the working title is not the official title of the exactly. movie. It's just the title they it's go like under. It's like a Usually subtitle, a co-title. Like trying to look up everything about the movie, but it doesn't end up working. Nowadays, it's just a clever little thing that hints at something small or potentially big in the movie. With my basic knowledge of the Five Nights at Freddy's world, Bad Cupcake to me is just in reference to the little cupcake animatronic. <laughs> uh, Chica. Chica's cupcake. It's also the cupcake that Chica is usually seen having, so my guess is that we are going to see that little cupcake show up in the movie and probably... Keep I can imagine a scene where uh, Mike, the main character, is like going... It's like looking at the 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 uh the chick the the cupcake chick and then and like I I can already imagine a scene where like the cupcake like bites uh the hand of Mike like it just bites his hand not bite it all but like just bite it and make it bleed. That would raise the tension, makes you makes you wonder. Ooh, this place isn't as fun as it. I mean, of course it was not fun. Come on, let's be real here. It's a horror movie. But yeah, I can imagine a scene where the cupcake like bites at least the hand of Mike. And this movie better be rated R. Realize that the cupcake will just appear in every piece of media that Five Nights at Freddy's had. Now before exactly we get to who they're covering up here in this photo, I do want to go ahead and pay attention to the little vanny toy that is sitting right here on the monitors. Now I want to be clear with you guys that I'm going to be stretching, speculating, that's what I do here on the channel. This vanny toy can just belong to a staff member who's working on the movie, was excited his first day to be on the FNAF film, and he brought his favorite toy or her favorite toy with them as a good luck to make sure this movie doesn't stink after being in production for what feels like a hundred years. But Vanny, exactly. as you may know, is a character that shows up in the later games, more prominently known in Security Breach. And let me tell you, I've had my own dreams of Vanny. I know you have too. Deny that little bunny. But from what I understand, <laughs> Right now in the FNAF community, it is a hot topic if Vanny's character is or is super connected to Vanessa, the security guard from Security Breach. I've seen great theories on both sides on why she is or why she isn't. But nevertheless, this was the interesting thing I was talking about because we did get a report and rumor going around that they had already casted Vanessa, who is set to show up in this movie. Where her description in the movie goes as Vanessa's a police officer who shows up during one of Mike's work shifts while leading with a bright and sunny disposition, Vanessa has a keen understanding of the dark history and so what's next? and in her workings of 
the restaurant. Not wanting to reveal too much of what she may know, she works to help Mike survive the night. And that's just one of the many interesting aspects of this movie, is how Vanessa fits into the very first Five Nights at Freddy's movie, or this Vanessa character even is the same Vanessa from Security Breach. It could just be a name coincidence. But having Benny there, I feel, is just like the little hint we needed, or again, major coincidence. But moving on from there, looking at the exact photos of what they're- Ooh, purple like guy! You know, <laughs> He's wearing a, a, a shirt. purple shirt. In a, a suit. Maybe a little bit more colorful, a little bit more vibrant. This just feels like a typical diner or regular restaurant where our two characters are going to be at. And one of those particular characters, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, this is William Afton right here. This is Matthew Lillard, who has been cast as our purple guy. I wasn't too sure about it because I was thinking that maybe this person is much older, just from the little look of the hand that looks like an old hand. And even the little smidgen of skin right here, I'm like, is that a bald head? Maybe, but it could just be the angle. The thing that lets me know this is purple guy is the fact he's wearing a purple shirt. Maybe I'm colorblind here and you guys will disagree with me, but tell me or not, is that a shade of purple that he's wearing there? In the live action form, they're obviously not going to paint Matthew Lillard as purple guy and have him walk right, around exactly. like a purple avatar. I already knew they're going to they're gonna, like, do something like this. Be purple colors almost every time. I, I don't think they're going to make a, like a CGI, like a CGI purple guy, you know? Like, it, it would just look jarring, especially since we're watching a movie full of uh, killer animatronics, which may, which may, which will make people wonder, why aren't the animatronics? Why, why are the animatronics full of practical effects, which I'm assuming? And then you have this CGI purple guy. I don't, I, I didn't, I never think they were going to do something. I always, I already always knew that they were going to do something like this, which is have them, like, wear some purple clothes, you know what I mean? And he shows up on screen. In a suit, too. One of the co-founders of the pizzeria, I gotta imagine maybe he's having dinner here with his partner, who's named Henry, who we have no idea if they're cast or not right now. But just looking at it here and assuming that this is Matthew Lillard as William Afton, I kind of like the look they're going for right now. He's got that business suit, but it's kind of a fun business suit. He's wearing purple underneath, and that tie seems like it's made out of cartoon characters or something. I tried zooming in as much as I could to see exactly what the characters are. For all we know, it could be animated versions of their animatronics from their pizzeria or could be other cartoon characters really pointing to that childhood whimsical side that William Afton has giving off that false sense of a quirky guy who just wants to get close to children so he can mutter them again though that's just my guess if we want to look at some more details that have been revealed that we can maybe attach to this image thanks to an article that has summed it all up they have it here that other news surrounding the film including the casting of young actors Lucas Grant as a character named Garrett and Jophilia Love as ghost kid number five name kept secret we also have details regarding a child actor for ghost kid number three but cannot verify the actors these are most likely the missing children and victim of William Afton who would have the animatronics at Freddy Korea. <laughs> Pair that up with other details they have gotten about the filming where it says production is also looking for 90s era cars such will be used early on in filming and 70s to 80s era hey shout out to blow mouse because if, if y'all knew the fnaf floor the, the fnaf games took place back in the earlier days it the, more particularly the first game took place in 1987 where this movie's gonna take place in the 90s. It won't be set in modern day. So it's kind of interesting that they need the 90s. Obviously, they, it won't because FNAF took place in, in 1987. For where the main set of the movie is. And then they also need cars from the 70s and 80s where they'll probably flash us back to a younger William Afton, seeing maybe some of the darker history behind the pizzeria or just some of the new lore they're adding in for the movie. Nevertheless, the only other detail that we have right now is again for that Cat Connor Sterling character named Matt. Okay, okay, so they're going to be filming this movie February 1st to April 6th. I bet. Oh, look, it's the the movie stops filming on the day before the Mario movie comes out. <laughs> FNAF fans get really iffy when you bring in just a brand new character who wasn't in Okay, uh, what's this actress name? Cat Connor? Yeah. Video games at all. I'm thinking this is just gonna be a random employee who works at Freddy Fazbear. And then there's another character people are freaking out about that is being called a female villain that I- Aw, oh, shit. A female villain? Um, I'm getting a sister's location vibes. A female villain in FNAF. <laughs> okay, uh, Mary Stark, Mary Stewart. Right. We don't 
think people should get too scared about her going, oh my god, who is this? To me, this feels like it's going to be the manager at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, and she's just probably a real hard butt. That cliche character in horror movies where they're assholes on purpose so that when they die on screen, the audience kind of cheers for it? That's what I'm thinking. Anyways, guys, that is all we have right now with the first look at Five Nights at Freddy's. <sighs> oh, man. This movie, this movie very good. This movie very fucking good. Oh, I can't wait see, to see the new shit they're going to be adding because, oh man, the movie's going to be adapting a lot of shit from the games. And I heard that, I read an article while reacting to this video. It says that all five of the animatronics from the original game is going to be here. Uh, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Golden Freddy. I can't wait to see Golden Freddy, I swear. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah. Freddy's and my speculation with my basic knowledge of the world. I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you make of it? Are you excited for this movie? I can't wait for the day we see the life size animatronics because they're going physical with this one. They're using suits. Practical effects. Like Willy's Wonderland. Oh yeah, speaking of Willy's Wonderland, um, this movie. <sighs> This movie better have a lot of similarities, because when I was watching Willy's Wonderland, I was I was over here like, could the fun the fun the you know the fun out to Freddy's movie could actually be like this, you know, like more particularly with the animatronics, because the movie itself was it was fucking stupid, but <laughs> but the, but when it comes to the filmmaking and the locations and the and the restaurant, the place itself, the fun movie can actually do something like that, you know. So yeah, uh, and, and the way the animatronics were moving, I was like, the FNAF movie could actually do something like that. I was actually hoping that the same crew filmmakers that made Willy's Wonderland actually came out to direct the FNAF movie, but uh, I don't think it, they're going to do that, unfortunately, you know? But, yeah. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films, or on TikTok at 3C Films, but as always, I'm Chris, take care. Take care. Uh, man, I love Chris. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, guys, um, at the, t um, um, I just realized something. Um, this could be fake. I'm watching the video right now. While editing, uh, while editing this video, I just realized, um, this photo right here. I, I know for a fact that this is the FNAF movie. This is not some regular tweet image of someone. This is this is from from some random FNAF FNAF fanboy. This is the FNAF movie, guys. This for effect is the FNAF movie. Hell, literally he said it right here. I look golden. This is a this is an actor from the FNAF movie. So yeah, I just had to put that out there. So anyway, back to this video. Hello, welcome to. Okay, so we. Just, you know, like, there are more things I want to react to before I uh, before I end this fucking video. Uh, day one. Bro, just get to the shit. Is Marky Plyer gonna be in the movie? He better be. Oh yeah, just a quick nitpick. I want the I want the animatronics. I actually want the restaurant to be colorful, cause when I was, cause security breaks. I actually love the way secure the the restaurant looked. You know what I mean? <laughs> I really do hope that the restaurant and FNAF the in the FNAF movie is more like the restaurant and security breaks rather than some regular regular as Chuck E. Cheese as place. Some some regular restaurant that you would just find at Chuck E. Cheese. Cause when I was, I, I never, I never played Security Breach. I'm not gonna lie to you, but when I was seeing Security Breach, I was like, "This looks unique." So yeah. Yes, I hear you. I know. Oh God.
Oh yeah, those uh secure those robots, security robots. I want to see them too. Cause they're actually unique and fun. I, I'm predicting that the movie's gonna release like later this year or early of next of next year. Like I'm assuming, like, like the, I, I'm assuming the uh, the release date will be between October and March of this year and next year. I'll see you guys next time. Or maybe even April of next year, cause you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna release earlier this year. I mean, earlier next year or later this year, uh, Scott must animate the FNAF movie. Bro, Scott, even though Scott retired, I want him to at least come for this movie, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's all I got to say right now for the FNAF movie. They finally started filming, so we know for a fact that this movie's going to be coming soon. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, hit this notification down below. Oh, yeah, um... Whew. I swear. This movie better not suck. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, hit those notifications down below. Let me know, comment down below. Let, let me know what you thought about this FNAF movie we're finally getting. Subscribe to my accounts, link in the description. That's all I got to say on this whole. Bro, FNAF movie in this bitch. This movie better not suck. I'm out. Peace, FNAF squad.